how to connect GoDaddy domains to Shopify. Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how you can take your GoDaddy domain and connect it to your Shopify store. So let's jump right in. Now for this, we're going to open up the relevant Shopify store where I want to connect my GoDaddy domain. And you can make this entire process a bit easier if you have both GoDaddy and your Shopify domain logged on on the same browser. So just log on to Shopify and log on to GoDaddy on the same browser so it's a bit easier for you to build a connection between both of these platforms. So once you have logged on to both of these platforms, you're going to head on over to GoDaddy first. And in GoDaddy, it's really important that if you have your domain, so whatever domain you have, you have domain forwarding, managing your DNS, you can go into your domain settings and you can reset your domain. You can search for this on Google as well, but this just means you can go into your DNS records and you're going to alter your DNS records. However, if you go into reset GoDaddy domain, GoDaddy domain, you guys can see that you can go into websites and marketing and you can select manage next to your site and then you can edit your site and your GoDaddy domain. Now, for domains, we'll only have to go into your DNS settings and you can go on ahead and search for the domain you want to manage. Let's say it's lilydavis.site. And from here, you will have to verify, need to verify ownership of your domain to connect to an external service. We've made it easier than ever. You can go on ahead and put in the value provided by the third party and you can add that over here. So this is my, no, I don't want to connect this, this particular domain. I'm going to go back and I'm going to select a different domain and it's called thespencer.site. I'm going to go with this domain over here and I'm going to go on to my Shopify store. Click on settings on the bottom left. Once I click on settings, I am going to go into domains on the left. Once I do that, I'm going to click on connect existing domain. Now I'm going to enter my domain name, which is thespencer.site. So we're just going to type that out. Sometimes you might have a typo, so make sure to look over it once you've typed it out. And after that, you guys will see Shopify automatically detects your domain as a GoDaddy domain. So click on connect manually or automatically. Now it's easier if you do automatic connections, but sometimes they can have bugs. So connecting manually can ensure you never have a bug. But we're going to proceed with connect automatically. And when you click on connect automatically, it allows you to open up a brand new tab or a brand new window. And you guys can see it's now verifying our connection. And now you have to add these DNS records. So you have this brand new value that you have to enter. So you're just going to copy that. Go into DNS management in your GoDaddy domain. Click on verify ownership. Paste in the value, okay? And the value is this value provided by Shopify. Then you're going to click on verify. And this is going to update the DNS records. And most DNS updates take effect within 48 hours, but you know, sometimes it's instantaneous, sometimes it takes 48 hours. But we're going to go into our Shopify products and I'm just going to open up the Spencer.site. Once I open up my complete portfolio, I'm going to go into DNS. I'm going to select the same domain again and then go into domain settings. Once I go into domain settings, I can go into setting the DNS management. I'm, I'm just going to ensure that the record is added. So going into my dashboard first instead of using the control panel. And then I'm going to click on DNS over here and it's loading up my DNS settings. And you guys can see all the DNS settings. Now you can click on add new record and you're just going to copy and paste. So first you have to add the A type and then the C name and then the name, the TTL, current value, as well as new value. So I have done the instant connection so I can click on I updated the DNS records and it should say that your domain is now verifying. And you guys can see it says domain is verifying. It takes a couple of seconds for Usually it can take like 10 minutes for the verification to be completed. The maximum time is 48 hours, but usually it takes like 20, 30 minutes with GoDaddy. SSL is pending because I do not have an SSL certificate with my domains. 
but you guys can see we have the ability to transfer our domain and buy a new domain on our Shopify store as well. And we can connect any other domain as, as well. So currently it is still verifying. And what we can do is we can just wait a couple of minutes for the verification to be completed. And if your verification does not work, then simply go on to your DNS management system and you're gonna delete the first connection that you made, okay? Like this, just delete it completely. So we're gonna remove that and the verification has already been completed. You guys can see this is the spencer.site. The domain has been added, but I'm gonna click on over here and change this back to my primary domain and once i do that i can go into dns records and click on add new record and then you add both the c name and a type record manually so this is how simple and easy it is to connect your godaddy domains to shopify not only can you connect for free to shopify but godaddy provides you with some of the best deals available on domains now the best part about using a platform like godaddy is the initial year of your domain purchase is going to be very, very, very cheap because with GoDaddy, you really pay a, a huge discount for your domain for your first year. Let's say I have Meraki, Meraki Clothing as a brand name. And if I click on find domain, I would probably be able to easily find something for as low as a couple of cents. So you have really, really low uh, fees. Although after the first year, the registration fees do climb up quite substantially. And they are still pretty good. You also have your aftermarket for the domains you've purchased. So any domain purchase you've made, you can later on choose to sell them if you find that their value has increased. And if you have any questions regarding this video, regarding any other video, or regarding any social platform, then you can definitely ask me in the comments down below. And I will try to answer as soon as possible because that is the point of our YouTube channel. I want to show you guys on how to glide through these platforms and how to easily navigate and fulfill the purposes that you want to do with these social platforms and if you have any details that you might want to know any suggestions any improvements that you think that i could add on to these videos then please do leave them in the comment box down below and i will make future videos according to those also leave those in the comment box down below and i will try to make videos on those as well and make sure to subscribe to our youtube channel and check out other videos and if you feel like some other video might be helpful to someone else make sure to share our videos with your friends and family as well and if you find that there is something missing i will try to figure out a way to integrate more accurate content according to your needs onto the channel so make sure to tell me if you find anything missing so that was it for today make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the youtube channel and i will catch you guys in the next video.